booze and banter. Hey, Frank. Hey, Roman. What's up? What's new? New? Nothing is new. How you doing? You know what I'm excited about? I don't know that. I'm excited to have a beer. Yes. A it's beer from... A long day. A beer from uh, Trip Hammer Beer Works, which I think, was he our first uh, Patreon video? He was our first. Yeah. Oh. He's a... <laughs> I cut my nails. I can't even... <laughs> I can't. Oh my God. The, so I have to use you know, my pu- pocket knife. Watch everybody. I cut my nails too. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. Look at them. Well, I can't get under it. So that's what a pocket knife is for. It's, it's a for tool. Your, supp- your supple fingertips. It's like everything. It. Uh, you can uh, start your car with it. A pocket knife? Yep. You can um, open boxes. You can unscrew. You can use it as a screwdriver. You can, you can stop the airport security. You can get taken away. Yeah, you can defend yourself with it if you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I'd whip it like a Chinese star. Let's pour this. What kind of beer is this? You said it's a sour? Yeah. It's a Unidaka Puss Raspberry. Mm. You know what I like? I remember this this uh, artwork. So this artwork, this one of his kids... No. Well, I, it may be, but... I think so. I know um, I Got a Rock, the pumpkin ale, mm-hmm. was one of his kids also. Yeah, I believe this is the artwork he had it framed during the interview at the location. Look at that. Perfect. Nobody yeah. can pour a beer better than I can. Thank I mean, you, Scott. Uh, this beer is <laughs> most likely going to be delicious, just like all the other ones were. Yeah, his I Got a Rock pumpkin beer was, um, that's one of my top three pumpkins, I think. And uh, I've been talking to him actually lately, and I think he wants to come back in, or not come back, but come to the studio and do an interview. Excellent. Yeah. So, but before we talk about more about that, let's, did you show the the can art on that? I'm showing the can art, yeah. yeah. Um, Cheers. Okay, cheers, Roman, be careful. Uh, Oh, okay. Cheers, Scott. I love raspberry. Mm-hmm. I think we had this on our um when we sampled the forty different beers. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> fuck we had that day. Yeah, he he wanted us to stay. <laughs> that, was a, that was a lot of beer. It was good. But that's a great place. Yeah, it's really great. fun place. So, uh, if someone hasn't seen the Patreon episode interview yet. Uh, the brewery is located in the old um, American can factory building mm-hmm. uh, where I believe the very first cans were developed there, right? Produced, mass produced. I think so. So, and, and the, the factory is really, really big building. I mean, it was like blocks. Yeah. Remember yeah. we went the wrong way? Yep. <laughs> well, yeah. And then, uh, so it's got multiple businesses in it and is it's this brewery. Lockport, Lockport, New York? Yes, Blackport, yep. New York. Yep. Right? Let me just confirm. And, Sounds uh, right. But it's kind of like an industrial, sort of modern industrial. But Fairport, New York. Fairport. I Fairport. made that mistake before. Yeah. I don't know why I keep saying See, it. sounded what? right and wrong, and I was like, let me confirm. Fairport, so Fairport New York. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So if you're around, check it out. Really cool place. Yeah, nice and roomy inside. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the... Um, Is I, he a Star Wars fan? I don't know. I think so. Because didn't he have like some um, arcade machines there? I can't remember. I think we need to go back out there. We have to go back. Got to nudge your memory. Nudge my memory? Yeah. This Do is you good. taste raspberry? This is good. Oh, I yeah. taste raspberry. Oh, yeah. yeah, it smells good. And- you know what? I like to eat raspberry when my wife and I will watch a show. Oh my God. I'll watch the whole container of raspberries and just eat it. <laughs> good for you you know <laughs> what else is good for you lots of things and you know what else is good for you pomegranates yeah i made pomegranate, pomegranate zinfandel wine that's even better <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah that's good <laughs> pomegranates and, themselves are kind of like uh plain right no they're delicious mm, i don't know if i've ever had a they're raw pomegranate sweet and oh really i don't think so oh man when they're in season i i'll eat an entire pomegranate when i was a kid my brothers and I, we used to play a game. Well, I don't know if my younger brothers did, but I think my older one. 
um, we played a game. You had to eat an entire pomegranate without dropping a single seat on the table. And it's really difficult because when you open it, you have to be like very careful. <laughs> it's like you're trying to defuse a bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's called pomegranate grenade. Oh, okay. Get it? I get it. Um, but yeah, like you have to be super careful. <laughs> you have to be like super careful not to drop because just when you crack that open, it might fall. Kiwis have a lot of seeds too. Yeah, but they're tiny seeds. I was trying to find passion fruit mm -hmm. in a... Or maybe it's dragon fruit. One of them, you know, because you like the you like the flavor of it, but the fruit doesn't really look appealing. <laughs> no, it doesn't look good at all. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's the passion fruit. Maybe it is. It's got like a spiky on the yeah, outside. Yeah, it looks like a yeah, like a dragon. Well, that's why I thought like it was dragon, a dragon fruit. skin. <laughs> that's why I thought it was dragon fruit. But I um I got an email. We you know we watch the or we listen to the news or we try to get our news from. Hmm. From sources that are at least reputable, you know. Um, well, we have to kind of vet them, vet them through, like go through and make sure it's not bullshit. But I got this email from one of the the um, news outlets I I pay attention to, and they're talking about um, names, people's names. Mm -hmm. So in the NHL uh, last week, where I was, some guy made history because his name was Ivan Ivan. Of the Colorado Avalanche, she's the first player in league history with the same first and last name. <laughs> Alvin Alvin. Ivan. Ivan Ivan. And then uh, they said, um, you know, that got you on other people's names. Like, you ever hear DJ Khaled? Mm. He's like a famous DJ. His real Not name that is, famous. His real name is Khaled Khaled. Khaled Khaled? And Lauren Bush. Not real name, is it? Yeah. That's what that's what this real name, about. Khaled Khaled? Yeah. And Lauren Bush, the granddaughter of former President George H.W. Bush, married Ralph Lauren's son. She now goes by the name Lauren Bush Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's full name is Mario Mario. Mario Lopez? No, Mario from the Mario Brothers. <clears throat> Excuse Super me. Mario Brothers. Mario's full name is Mario Mario, according to his creator. This means his brother is Luigi Mario. Mm. <laughs> but Lauren Bush Lauren is kind of weird. Like, why wouldn't you just, yeah. I don't know what you could do with that. <laughs> Did you watch a movie, uh, Wedding Singer? Yeah. With Adam Sandler? Yeah, Julia Gulia. Julia Gulia. <laughs> yeah, oh, nothing. nothing. <laughs> That's a great fucking thing. <laughs> Did, she have, Did she have breast reduction? Who was that? Drew Barrymore? Yeah. I mean, a long time ago. Oh, okay. I think you were the one who told me that. I did it. Yeah, <laughs> I did the surgery <laughs> surgically. <laughs> she's actually made a good turnaround because she's um, she's like a super fun girl. She's got some talk show now, but she had a huge drug habit because she was a child star, mm. you know, in the movies, and that's what happens. And speaking of child stars, and who knows what's going to happen with all these Diddy things? Oh man, P Diddler, P Diddler. <laughs> I saw uh, I saw a video on Instagram. Did you watch Men in Black? Uh, the first one. Mm -hmm. Did you see one where, I think it's in the first one, where um, Will Smith and, um, help me out. Um, Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones, when they go inside a bug, like the bug swallows them and then they shoot him. Mm. And he explodes and they're covered in slime. Yeah. And it says, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. After finding, uh, looking for my keys after Didi's party. Yeah. <laughs> they're covered Did in slime. Did you put that on our stories? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he was all like goopy and wet looking. Yeah, they're like, up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, that guy's got a lot of problems coming at him. Dude, he's going to be like the next Epstein. And, and they're talking about, you know, murder with Tupac and yeah. all that. Well, that, that, I think that was solved a little while back. It was never solved. Well, not technically, but I've been following some podcasts that were talking about it. And they mentioned that he's been involved in Tupac's yeah. killing. I hope he gets whatever he's got coming to him for, for you know, especially that there's like, I think 130 victims now that have, have, uh, Used as Busby guy as the, the lawyer, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they range from nine years old. Wow! And then he said it's a fifty-fifty split between men and women. Fuck him! Yeah, I think I saw a video where his basketball court had beds in there. 
uh, and dildos and, and motion. Like there were these guys shooting hoops and there were a bed in one corner and then the other corner. I don't understand that. For what reason? He decides to, after a game, do something. I'm sure we know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck else do you want to bed in the basketball court? I don't. I mean, you're all fucking sweaty and stinky. <laughs> yeah. Plus, everything else going on in there? Yeah, he's like, oh, you're so sweaty. Take your clothes off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but they're just talking about how there's like a lot of forcible stuff. He would go into a locker room, there'd be someone there, and he have bodyguards, and he would just make shit happen. And like, wow, you couldn't do anything because you get the shit knocked out of you. And, and then he, what a you piece know, of shit! If you say anything, I'm gonna kill you. Like, what the fuck, you know? I can't stand people like but that. His trial is not till like May 2025. So I don't know. I mean, he's been denied bail five or seven times, or fuck it is. I don't mm-hmm. know. Hey, we need to make a correction. I fucked up the other day, and I uploaded episode 82 for 83. Mm. So there was a rerun of episode 82. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, I was, apologize on behalf of Roman because he's Roman. <laughs> <laughs> I've just, made a number of Just for being me. <laughs> I've made a number of fuck-ups too. Whatever. So um, I've made the correction. And uh, by the time you're hearing this, it's been corrected. Yeah, so it was corrected as of ten fifteen. We appreciate um, twenty four. If you go back and give it a listen, mm-hmm. uh, that was a good one too. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have a lot of guests coming up. So the YouTube video is correct. It's just the audio portion. Yeah, the video was correct. The audio was incorrect. Mm-hmm. So sorry about that. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah. And uh, I think we need to do some um, congratulations for what. Not turning your light on either, Roman? Oh, fuck. Excuse me for a second. (laughs) What are the congratulations for? Well, first one. First one, he says. He's not near the microphone. Ah, There comes Roman. I'm I'm like that golf guy. Here comes Roman. You can can see. (laughs) (laughs) What is he going to swing? Seven iron? Moron. That's a wrong one. It's a putt. It's a three-foot putt. He's got a driver. (laughs) He's got (laughs) (laughs) He's got a driver. Who's his caddy? <laughs> Frank. Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> so. Congratulations, you said? Yes. Yeah, so, um, Beer Babe family on Instagram. Beer Babes, yep. Yeah. Yep. And they have a uh, four, fourth anniversary. Yeah. So, I just wanted to congratulate them. And for those who don't know who they are. Uh, I have a website here. I have I have something to say about them, by the way. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. But I'll wait till you're done. Okay. We'll see if they listen to us. Oh, probably not. <laughs> I know. So what they do, like their causes, actually, it's, it's good. So the Beer Babes family is a charitable organization in the USA and Canada. We are also an online community and a no tolerance for online bullying platform. We strive to support and positively engage all women in the beer community. This includes the casual beer drinkers to the highest level of brewers, cicerones, and beer judges. We work with breweries throughout North America to brew Bay, Bay, Bay Brew. Funds raised from a portion of the sales of Bay Brew is collected and awarded in the form of a grant. Grants are awarded to women who work in the beer industry who are trying to improve their beer business. And they do one grant a year. So I think they started 2000. Well, it's four years ago. So 2020. Yeah. And then they've given their very first one um, last year, 2023. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Brews with Beerkowski. We have their sticker. Yeah. Are we part of Beer Bay family? We're honorary. <laughs> We're honorary. And Roxy Liquid. I think these guys are all like kind of the founders. And there's not a mm-hmm. number of people there. But I will say they're not following us on Instagram. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to send them a message. That's a, message, that's a like, conundrum for me. Yeah. Maybe they're not aware of it. Yeah. Maybe they just overlooked it. <laughs> They're like, who the fuck are these guys? Yeah, probably like, on purpose. Don't ever fucking follow. Us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it'll be it'll be fun to have them on on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we. Can I will. Um, they want to. We'll reach out to them and see if they're interested because it's a it's a really interesting story and it's a cause that we we support. Um, so I think that uh, 
it'll be interesting to hear and, and share with the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're doing good stuff and, and, yeah. and it's the right way. You know, they yeah. look like they have a lot of fun. Yeah, really fun yeah. group. They're all over the place. You see them all over. Yeah. These uh, kind of beer releases. I think, uh, let's see, they, 48 beers they have brewed and in three different countries. So I, I don't, you know. Which I'm assuming Canada, U.S. is two, and I don't know where the other one is. I don't know. So I don't know if they've got one beer that they have brewed everywhere, or is it 48 different beers? Um. I'm not sure how though, because because some people will just have a collaboration with a brewery. The brewery can make whatever they want, mm-hmm. and they market it as a, you know, whoever the whoever the client is. And there's there's tons of different arrangements. I, I and I apologize for not knowing. I didn't I didn't really look that far into it, but I know it was their four year anniversary. Yeah, I I saw it on Instagram and I congratulated them. But their like uh, beer, their beer art is pretty cool, and um, the can art. Yeah, like their can art. Mm-hmm. So they have Girl Crush 2. They have Girl Crush 3. <laughs> they have... Oh, uh, Bone Bonehouse Brewing Company is who... Um, Beerzer Borkowski. What's her first name? Uh, I forget her first name, but she's one of the founders. Mm-hmm. She works at this brewery, and she she teaches. Yeah, she's a cicerone, right? Yeah, yeah. And she's a historian, right? Beer yeah, historian. Amber, Amber from uh, formerly from Hop Around or from uh, Urban South. Mm-hmm. Amber Hop Around Nola. She was telling us about about them. Yeah. So, so they have all this really cool can art. Like you'll have to. I'll show it to you. But uh, if anybody's interested and in, and curious about. M- more about Beer Babes Family, check out beerbabesfamily.com. Their website is, um, it's got a lot, a lot of information. And uh, their um, their label artist is Janet Kay. Uh, Ooh, she, she does their- They already start off with points for you, Roman, because they give that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I give credit to, uh, to artists. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Happy anniversary. Let's cheers a um, unit duck up us to them. Cheers. Oh, okay. Nice. At least these glasses are big enough with the world on fucking snapping. I was washing one. Yeah, of we like, can go full Viking on this. <laughs> I was washing one of our glasses the other day, and I'm like, Kink. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> like a piece came right <laughs> off my hand. I'm like, fuck. That's not good. Well, it was your glass, so. I got a joke for you. Okay. What do you call Winnie the Pooh's grandmother? Poo poo? Poo nanny. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> I was just looking up something here too. Though. I heard that. I was like, I have to share this. <laughs> I um, I was just looking up something. It was. It's called. It says it's another um. It's another Urban Dictionary thing. Oh. Uh, do, do you have uh, another joke? No, I don't have another joke. Oh, okay. I um, I wanted to congratulate New York State with something. This is interesting. Um, I think I mentioned this to you earlier before the podcast. A federal judge in Buffalo has struck down a portion of New York's gun laws that would have prohibit someone with a concealed carry permit from bringing a firearm on a private property open to the public, like a conven- convenience store or restaurant, unless the owner had posted signs affirmatively allowing weapons. So that was recently struck down. I think there's a fortune day hold on it, but... Either way, congratulations. Yeah, so I think there's probably a 14 day hold to decide if they want to appeal or whoever wants to appeal. I think they're reviewing it and, and see if uh, the the ruling they want to they have enough evidence to oppose the ruling. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't. I still don't know how that works with New York City. Well, we can talk about that a little bit, but if that's the case, then there should yeah. be no restrictions against carrying in the five boroughs either. Yeah, you know, which where a lot of crime is happening. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like that's where you want to carry. Yeah, Yeah, that's what I'm telling you not to carry. So, all the illegals do that because they're never going to get fucking shot. Yeah, that's crazy. (laughs) So, the the Urban Dictionary one's called Oklahoma Jet Ski. 
Oh, <laughs> oh boy. It's when you're fucking a fat chick doggy style in a kiddie pool while holding onto her pigtails. In a kiddie pool? <laughs> I don't know. Oklahoma what, jet ski? I don't know who comes up with these things. <laughs> Oklahoma jet ski. <laughs> There's one more here. Hang on. This one is... I got to find it. It's on me. I'll get here. It has to do with, so we just were talking about apples because we picked apples today. Mm-hmm. I mean, in my house, we've picked a lot of apples, but you just had some of those. The red delicious were delicious. Yeah, they're really red and delicious. They are. So here, Cleveland apple picking. <laughs> the act of anal intercourse in which upon pulling out, a little piece of fecal matter finds its way into your dick hole, <laughs> causing the head of your dick to turn as red as an apple. <laughs> From an infection? Yeah. A red delicious apple. <laughs> you got a red delicious dick hole. <laughs> That'll make your head spin. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted you to do another uh, congratulations. Um, oh, then I was premature, like everything else, and my jokes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you showed me an article of a first black woman brewery owner. Yeah, in Minnesota. Uh, do you have the, the information of the brewery? Uh, I, I, I do. Let me see what it's called. It is Brittany Mikkel is making history. It's the first black woman to open a brewery in Minnesota. Bubble Line Brewing Company is uh, set to open in St. Paul's Rondo neighborhood. So Nice. We yeah. should reach out to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's uh, yeah. obviously historical significance, but... Oh, good for her. I think another, she's a pharmacist before. Another congratulations is due. Holy fuck, this I is a congratulatory know. episode. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Um, did you see what uh, SpaceX accomplished? Yeah, when they backed the fucking rocket up. Right back into the fucking parking spot where it left <laughs> it from. <laughs> <That was> crazy. <laughs> Dude, that it was so fake. I'm like, how are they doing this? That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe it. So what is it? These rockets must just be huge money, so they don't want to fish them out of the ocean well, somewhere? Well, the the part of the uh, space exploration from NASA was the cost of sending rockets into space. Because when they go into space, there are stages, right? Your initial burn, burn tanks mm-hmm. get... To pour, um, well, that's the way it used to be. Ejected and then, right? Rusty red bullshits. Yeah. Right. So it's a lot of, because it's all wasted. After, you know, once um, they detach, the only like the, the plain looking spaceship that comes the down. Shuttle. The shuttle. That's the only thing that's recoverable. Everything else is just becomes space garbage. Yeah, a little fucking pot or whatever. So all that is waste. Yeah. But only thing came back what didn't have people in it. Right. Right. So. That was this the booster rocket piece. Correct, yeah, yeah. which is very expensive. Yep, yep. So you can now reuse it. I've been following some other companies that are like satellite companies, or uh, I think NASA also hires SpaceX to send things to uh, International Space Station. They're go, or they're going to go rescue those Boeing people. Yeah, they have to, right? They're yeah. stuck in there. Look at that fucking program leapfrogging. Everybody else has been doing it for decades. Yeah. But what I'm saying is it's, it's, a, it's a big accomplishment for humanity. To be able to do this and cut down uh, cost of of space travel or space trips, you that? know, a burp. <laughs> Some sort of space travel in your digestive. <laughs> yeah, it's a burp from far, yeah. far away. <laughs> 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 Travels with speed of light <laughs> or sound. Right. Um, anyway, so yeah, congratulations to SpaceX for that. Huge accomplishment, yeah, was, and all their all their workers. You can oh see my playing. gosh! Like I, that, that's, that's what impressive. I I really like that. Yeah. Like when the camera showed the excitement of the workers. I mean, all the hard work they put into it. Yeah, um, yeah I kept watching over and over again. Their 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 Falcon rockets gone through so many failures before they were able to have them come back and land back on the platform. This one like came back to the launch site. Yeah, and then they pinched it. Yeah, you know. It's amazing. So he's, he's done. So we've talked recently about your know, Starlink and and Pi phones and and I and I and I saw mm. something. I don't think the Pi phone is called a Pi phone. Yeah. So just follow up on that. I don't think there is a Pi phone or anything like that coming. So oh, fuck, man. Just yeah, I, I need to dig harder. <laughs> I had to look more into it because 
I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, but isn't he coming up with some sort of mobile communication? There is talks of T-Mobile partnering or, or doing some kind of collaboration work with SpaceX to be able to offer um, internet services through satellites mm-hmm. um, on your phone. But again, there's there's high latency and it's yeah. not something that's reliable, but it's still a source of like a communication in remote spaces. Um, I would still rely on Starlink mm-hmm. as opposed to that because it still uses traditional um, 5G, 4G, whatever. Not 5G because 5G is microwaves. So like 4G LTE uh, antennas that are in the area. Um, but there's places I go hike or hunt that uh, I get no service. Yeah, I mean, we talked about the ham radio, but... Mm-hmm. I don't know how beneficial that's going to be. Maybe I would just go with something that's um, a satellite phone or something that's Starlink connected so that... Or get Starlink Mini. Right. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. Know, because I didn't get Starlink. You a fucking license to do it and all other no, bullshit, no. you know? Yeah. I didn't get Starlink Mini because the regular Starlink was like half the price. Yeah. yeah. So I went Starlink with... Starlink Mini more? More money. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting me know about that deal, dickhead. No, the other deal is still there. You can still get it. I want it. the Mini. The Mini d- is not on, on sale. Hmm. Okay, yeah, but so <laughs> Elon Mini Musk. Mini is 600 <laughs> The other one's 300 so. Elon Musk has done a lot of good things. Like he had that cyber taxi, whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. What's it called? The the self-driven taxis. That, yeah. Um, yeah, so he had some uh, reveal event, right? Yeah, and the robots. He had robots. So some robots were programmed other robots were controlled by other humans like there was a bartender robot i don't know if uh, was it, is the other guy wearing something he does this like. no no the other guy has like a remote or something mm-hmm. and controlling that robot and that robot is like pouring beer and like really? having a conversation with people yeah i i, I uh, want one <laughs> you know he so did you read about the whole fucking problem with um so he came with the robots. And remember this mo- movie, I Robot with Will Smith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that that director's saying, you know, hey, Elon, I'd like my fucking design back. I'm like, what? what? Hmm? It looks like a fucking human. Like, it, it, uh, it's, it's not a human the same. design. It's yeah. not the same, though. No, I mean, so a guy's got a head and fucking arms and a torso and legs, and now it's his design. No, it's not. I mean, even from the, the kind of hips down, the legs and everything look different. But like, I mean, you know, you can see the chest and like a head, but like, oh, okay. I mean, that's what. <laughs> That's what it fucking looks no, like. No, no, he, he's probably just joking. He's, he's, no, he's not guys? joking. He's a dick. Really? Like, yeah. he's serious? Yeah. He can't copyright the human shape. That's, That's fucking weird. No, no, he thinks he can. <laughs> Fuck off. You know, there's people before him that did it, so he copied them, you know? Yeah, no. I mean, in his movies, have you seen the movie? Yeah. I wrote in his movies. Yeah, they're like fucking ten. Is so fucking. They're weird. like humanoid robots. Like right, they, yeah, they, they look more favorite. like humans. Yeah. Nose they, and everything. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. I, and Musk does not, and this no. is Tesla across the chest. But like, yeah, I don't know. I still want a fucking robot. I think they're cool as fuck. Yeah, I, I, like I a dog that doesn't poop. I would like a robot that is like a an assistant. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to carry those two by fours. A ro- <laughs> robot. Did I ever show you that thing? Carry those two by fours for me. Did I ever show you that video with the guy who had like it's a battery pack thing that goes. It's like his shoulders and his biceps. Did I, did I show you this with the drywall? No. It's this guy. It's a video. It was on. It was on Instagram. He puts this thing on. And it's like an exoskeleton. Oh, okay, yeah. And and he's like he's like carrying like fucking ten foot drywall like it's paper. Yeah, yeah, I've I've seen those. What the fuck? I've man? seen those. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the exoskeletons are amazing, yeah. but they're they'll run based on workload and what the battery will yeah. allow it. I I'd, I'd like to have a robot, and I'd also like to have a jetpack. <laughs> I think it's fucking cool to fly. They do around. have jetpacks. I know they do. I want one of those. You can get that. But I'm only, you know, I got to prioritize. Like, I'll get know, it for your birthday. Shrinkflation. I got to, you know, buy a loaf of bread or a robot. I can't fucking I'll, decide. I'll get you a jetpack for your birthday. Okay. I, how about a, how about a mini from uh, Elon Musk? Right, I'll get it for your birthday. Okay. When's my birthday? I don't know which one yet, but <laughs> <laughs> my 85th. One of your birthdays. My 85th birthday. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I, so I wouldn't even want a robot to do that heavy labor. I'd want one that would keep track of things for me. Like, like well, I tell it and you make a fucking list and you like yeah. spit me out a receipt or something or read it to me. So I'll write shit down. Or, or it would be like, Hey Roman, on your to do things, you have leaf blowing, 
tomorrow is going to be nice weather at this time will be a good time to do leaf blowing. I'd be like, you're right. Why don't you do that? That's right. While I take care of some paperwork in the office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I wonder what I would call my robot. What his name would be. Oh, let's come up with our robot like, names. Like Robbie? <laughs> <laughs> Rob? Oh, we recently had Chad GPT voice thing. Remember we yeah. played with them? Yeah. Um, <laughs> can we do that on here? What was what was my name? I don't know, but can we do that on here? Is it like some sort of... Infer- Let me see. No, I don't know. Let me see if I can do this. So this is what I did with a... So Frank, <laughs> GPT. Frank and I, we discovered that you could do voice... But you could change the um, voice, but you can also customize it. You can communicate with Chad GPT with the voice, but like if it's free version, you're limited, right? To how many minutes per month yeah, or something I don't like know that? If it's per month or how it works, but I don't know. I know mine's mine showed like a few minutes or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Um I gotta I gotta get to this thing because I keep fucking it up, so I say. Hey, how are you? And then you gotta send it. But like my, my Did you click on the voice thing? Yeah, my, my voice is not on for her response for some reason. Did you run out of time? Well, why won't if I run out of time, will it not give me her voice back? Well, if if you were limited to because like how many minutes you can me. use it? No, you have to click hey on Is that you or me? That's you. Mine's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, so click <laughs> click on this logo. I don't have that logo. Yeah, you do on the right, right in black up. Oh, that one. Yeah. What do I say? Click on that. Don't say anything. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I get a kick out of Frank talking to this. <laughs> Where's the answer? Uh huh. Does Frank find it funny too? <laughs> Sounds like he's got a good sense of humor. Right. She's so. Can you tell Roman he's a dick? He won. Stop talking. You're interrupting her. I bet Roman would get a good laugh out of that. All right. Did I pass along a special message for you? Yes. Tell Roman that he's a penis face. Aha. Uh-huh. I'll let him know. What's Roman been up to lately that earned him the penis face title? <laughs> you should see him. He's what physically shaped like a penis like Putin. <laughs> Wow, that's a visual. I can imagine you two roasting each other like that on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> How does he you ever know? come back with good comments? Oh, 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 oh I'll come on your back. <laughs> How did you know we had a podcast? You've mentioned your podcast, Bruise and Banter, before. It oh, sounds like oh, she's you smart. and Roman have a great dynamic, especially with all the joking around. Oh, I like Working her now. On any new episodes? We are, but I've got to end it because we're recording right now. So this conversation is over. Goodbye. Got it. Yo, bitch is out. Enjoy recording. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I taught, <laughs> I taught Chad, B, Chad GPT to say, yo, bitch yo is bitch out is every out. time the conversation ends. <laughs> That's amazing how yeah. like she uh, remembered everything. How much information was retained? I'm gonna pay for all this thing just because I can just talk to someone. It's like your dog. Like your dog looks at you like this. <laughs> <laughs> you <funny> answer <laughs> You're gonna replace. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize we talked about a podcast or anything. We did. Remember when you were trying to train train well, her? I don't remember, but I don't remember. I don't remember what my um. Yours was um. Hi, how are you? Dixon cunts. Hey there. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Ask what his name How is. How about you? Good. I forgot your name. No worries at all. I'm Dixon Cons. At your service. <laughs> Why is yours more I'll responsive than mine? <laughs> all right. Take care. If you need anything, just give me a shout. Oh, Bye. Wait, 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 wait. We're recording. We record, we're recording a podcast right now. Can you tell us a, a, a dirty joke before you go? Nope. I appreciate the humor, but I like to keep things clean. How about a lighthearted, clean oh, joke instead? Oh, fuck off. Bye. <laughs> All right. Take care. You, you just fired your virtual assistant. You're, fu- you're fired. <laughs> yeah, at, least, at least mine said, why is Roman, Roman a penis face? I know. What the hell? Maybe I, I should change why, mine. You, why is yours so much more quicker than mine? Like when I say something, it like, and it like takes a minute. Because uh, I don't have an iPhone, that's why. No, because you're fucking quick at everything you do. That's why. No, I don't, you know why I don't use an iPhone? No, I don't know why. Well, you saw what happened to Adam and Eve. 
so I don't fuck around with apples. <laughs> That's why that Apple logo only has one bite. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so thanks, Scott. The sour is pretty good. Yeah, it is really good, Scott. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> Especially raspberry sour, which is uh, one of my favorite fruits. So we need to grade this. So SPB, right? Sorry, guys. Uh, well, where are we at? Trying a, a new camera in the studio, and I was just curious to see what's going on. How many minutes, Ian? We're about 35 minutes. Yeah, so didn't time out yet, but... So we got SPB. <sighs> Shitty Perfect Best. Oh, that's right. For sours. That's right. Um, this is Unidocopus. I would say it's perfect. This is the Unidocopus Sour. <clears throat> Unidocopus Raspberry Sour from Trip Hammer Beer Works mm-hmm. in Fairport, New York. New York. How was the percentage beer. in this? Six. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's like six. 18 burps. It's to make up for all the other episodes I have not burped. Okay. So I'm going to say... Um, <laughs> you said okay. <laughs> P. I'm going to say P. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Right? That's what I would say. But the best is still... So the best was... Um, we kind of fucked this up because we, we had the IPA, the sour IPA from... Uh, oh. Um, um, that's in, what in, F. In Canadagua. F. Fuck. Frequent them. Yeah. That, that was, was going to let you struggle through this. There one. you go. <laughs> but, yeah, so, but, well, but that was a sour IPA, but we gave it a number, but it was a sour. So we should have given, IP- no, given a number letter. All right. What will be for that one? All right. Yeah. That was a 4.9B. Yeah. That's what I had. No, this, I mean, you said 4.9. This is perfect because this is perfect to drink. Yeah. And just keep drinking. Yeah, this is a good beer that's, uh, right, it's, it's a universal for a lot of uh, different situations. So I like it. What I like about this one, too, is um, it had a head on it. Yeah. For a sour, that's a bit unusual, Small right? Small head, yeah, but like yeah. I got it all in the glass here. And but it almost had the color of like um, Oktoberfest, mm. right? It had that dark, dark, like a uh, fall color. Mm-hmm. Um brown reddish but it's good and and really good we do have to mention also that we're part of the hopped up network oh that's right so yeah i keep forgetting yeah we'll check it out hoppedupnetwork.com again it's a it's a podcast uh related website for um you know beer enthusiasts and and other sort of uh applications and not just not just beer but they talk Mm -hmm. about sports and and i think there's some finance thing in there maybe but Another platform yep. you can listen to podcasts, basically. Hoppedupnetwork.com. And, and we can't divulge what's next, but upcoming here, we have a surprise for people. Oh, do I know the surprise? You know the surprise, but we oh. can't divulge it. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, look for that. And then as we get closer, we'll let people know to tune into the following episodes because once we announce it, you know, it'll, yeah. be, it'll, be, it'll be on the episode that it takes place in. Yes. Right. And... What do you think? This this change Ooh. will really make things exciting and bring different dynamic to our uh, podcast. Yeah, I don't want to give anything away, but yeah. I'm using Chat B- GPT as my new podcast host. Is that a Roman? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, th- I think what Frank does, it goes to the bathroom and says, can you talk dirty to me? <laughs> <laughs> but you can pick like five You'll voices. use up all your minutes. <laughs> you can, you can, I'll just buy shit because that's pretty cool. She, I didn't realize it was... Um, Retentive, right? Oh, do you think like that could be your assistant? Probably no. I mean, I gotta get more into it. Like, did you see all these AI videos? Like, they got like um, living cookies. Did you see this? It's a cookie jar, and it's the really high quality video that I like that you take with the you know blurred background, mm-hmm. really clear. But it's a jar of chocolate chip cookies, mm-hmm. and they're moving in them, and it's like um, it. it you know, like, you know what a, a pseudopod is? Like a false foot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an amoeba shit? It's like that, and like it shows all the cookies like moving, and it's like, like Harry Potter shit. Yeah. I, well, the the AI video generation uh, gen, generators have really advanced yeah. in like weeks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> in weeks, like no joke. But maybe I'm going to use I've seen thing. videos of like a pug fishing, and like, okay, I'm done fishing, and they're like <laughs> on the dock and like walks, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, and... 
before AI struggled with like smiles and teeth and yeah. eye orientation to make sure like the eyes are looking in the right like direction. Three eyes or They'll like have like four, crooked yeah. eyes, you right. know. Fingers, they had problems with fingers. You'll have like six or seven yeah, fingers. It's much more difficult to discern and now, what's AI and what's not. I know. Yeah. And now that is so much improved mm-hmm. in in a short period of time. And if it can improve that much in, in that period of time, right. it can improve even more in less time. Yep. yep. You know? Uh, so a segue, be careful what you see online with elections coming up. Yeah, absolutely. There's or, or anything but specific election. Yeah, but like with election coming up, there's a lot of bullshit. Like they can take um Kamala Harris's voice or Trump's voice or Biden's voice and uh, link it with like so that the lips sync to the whatever they want the message to be and it will look like that's what they said. So just be careful what you hear out there and 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 and, and see online that uh, or your friends might might have seen it and not know that it was an AI generated uh, and just be spreading rumors. So. Just uh, just take all the information with caution, vent yeah. it. Yeah. So that way it does not alter your decision on, on voting. That way you're voting based on what you believe that you want your next president to be and uh, uh, and not on some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, when you're being falsely- Misled. Misled yeah. information. Yep. Yeah. So be careful with that, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, AI is just getting crazy. Yep. But as assistant or a fun skit on the podcast, they're fun. <laughs> yeah. I want to see how it came out for the volume. Like, so, but you didn't come up with a name for her, did you? Uh, no, she impressed me. I got to come up with something, something good. You got to give her a name. But what happens if I change the voice to a guy? So I got to have like a universe like, like Pat. In case I change to a man, man voice. I don't know. I don't. I don't like how my guy treats me. I'm gonna have. To, <laughs> I'm gonna have to change it to the voice you have. Um, no, we can't. She do that. has. She has better sense of humor. Yeah, she does. But I don't think it's the voice. She called me a penis face. Yeah, no, she didn't. She said, "How do you feel about? Or what did you do to become a penis face?" Yeah, but she still said it. This guy wouldn't even. <laughs> he wouldn't tell you a dirty joke. I know. I think so. Can we do the 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 cable? From the mix cast into the phone mm-hmm. so that it'll record the chat GPT. chat GPT voice instead of holding up the microphone. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. We can do that. We'll, 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 uh, we'll Tink- try that in the Tink- future. Tink- I would like to do. You're not using my girl. That's not your girl. She's not your girl. Your bitch is out. Your bitch. Your bitch is out, she says. <laughs> I would like to try, see if they would. Can talk to each other mm-hmm. like we'll like engage in conversation well, I've got to tell her whenever I come up with her name mm-hmm. to start referencing him whatever his name is and then they can just talk back and forth yeah we'll we'll try off uh, off the episode mm-hmm. to see how we can get them to talk to each other okay and then we'll, we'll see, see what they say on the episode <laughs> how far the conversation right. will go <laughs> if they'll do it they probably won't even stop till the battery dies <laughs> yeah, but just tell him to, I'm just curious. Like, tell jokes back and forth. I'm just curious what the conversation will, how far it would go, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. if it will happen. But, anyways, so um, check us out on hoptopnetwork.com. Mm-hmm. Um, please help us reach 3,000 followers. And uh, Beer Babe family, if you're listening, please follow us back. Uh, and let's uh, let's get in touch to do an interview. Um, we are on YouTube. Reddit X, uh, Reddit Facebook. X, Facebook. Yeah, follow us on there. Uh, Patreon, Instagram, yeah, threads. Yeah. Patreon. Fun, exciting news coming up, mm-hmm. and um, a lot of interviews are in the works. We're just trying to work out timing. Yeah, we're actually having a, having a difficult time scheduling them all. Yeah, it's, it's really yeah, pouring it's and faster than we can yeah. figure out. Who's going to be when? Yeah, as part of these, uh, maybe this assistant thing can help with that. I mean, yeah. Yeah, whatever, we'll figure it out. But yeah. Yeah. So, so interesting interviews coming up. Thank you for your support on social media. And uh, until next time. Yep. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Hopheads. Frank here. And Roman. 
Welcome to Brews and Banter, the podcast where we sip and spill the funniest stories over a cold one. We're not just brewing laughs and comedy, we also discuss life stories and current events in every episode. Follow The Frolic on our socials, where we brew up more than just banter. Check out linktree forward slash brews and banter for all the goods. And guess what? We've got a VIP section. Join our Patreon for exclusive content, behind the scenes brew secrets, and maybe even a blooper reel or two. Subscribe, laugh, and unlock the full Bruise and Banter experience. Because life is too short for bad beer and boring stories. Cheers. <laughs>